Hi, Paul Hefty here with the Triangle O Football System. I want to talk about why spread no huddle offense can help you transform your system by using the three E's. First one is essential. We're going to set it up for success right from the start. Second is effortless. It's an easy way to make you be football smart and provide structure to your system. And then third is the end game. We want to be innovative by using speed and space. At the end here, the way to transform is simply flip your approach and thinking and using spread as a foundation. Let's take a look. So what is essential? Again, the system must be able to identify defensive numbers easily with every play at the start. And then that way we can take advantage of them, which we must do every time. So number one, this gives us defensive recognition of our run box numbers. That gives us that successful start. We want to make sure we're taking advantage of those numbers every time. So this makes, means we've got to be balanced in our thinking. And then last, the no huddle advantage is that you never run a bad play. You can always attack good numbers and put your players in a position to be successful with every play. No audible needed. How we're going to do this is the safeties tell all with your run box numbers. So here's an example of it with defensive terminology. We've got our H back spread with H back to the bottom of the screen. You can see we're going to put our two wide receivers, our Z and our slot A receiver to the field normally. And we've got the X and the Z on the numbers. This forces a defense right from the get go by using spread to put the corners out there, which we call the cat to the field side and the dog to the bottom side. Now they can only have nine possible defenders in the box. So that's why safeties tell all. So if you got two high safeties, as this diagram is, you can see then the most they can have is seven. And then we're gonna talk about how we put that Sam linebacker, that seventh defender in conflict. Second, how can we make this whole process effortless? By using these spread sets as your starting point in your structure, it exposes defensive numbers easily. And then it makes it effortless for your teaching and your learning. So we always like to start with two by two spread sets, and this forces the defense to be perfectly balanced, keeping it really simple for us to teach it and learn. Second, we want to take advantage then of free access every time, meaning we have access to throw on the perimeter and we use what's called ANA, access, no access in our thinking. And then third, we like an H back um, because it enables multiplicity in your offensive attack. He can be a tight end, but he can also be a fullback. So again, it gives us great opportunities to be balanced in our run and pass game. How we're gonna do this, the OC and the quarterback have to see safeties first, as we mentioned, and then we go down to those hanging outside linebackers, which we call Mr. Zeros, and then finally inside to the mic, hence the triangle. So here's our defensive recognition with our Anna. Again, we're gonna see the two high safeties, which we call the ox is the onside safety. That's the direction we are going, our play call, and the goat is the backside. We call that that deep middle box between the hashes typically. We're gonna go down then, you can see to the Sam and the Will, which we call the more Mr. Zeros, those hanging linebackers, and simply see if we have access to throw to our receivers on the perimeter or we don't have access. What that tells us is if we have access, then we have bad run box numbers. If we don't have access, meaning the Will in this case at the bottom is outside the box covering our A slot receiver. Now we know easily we have good run box numbers where we have six blockers to block their six. Anna, access, no access every time. Third then is what's the end game? And really what we want to do is create spacing because speed and space wins every time. This helps us be effective in whatever we're doing. So it creates that natural spacing of the defense just by alignment. We want to take advantage again, as I said then, of the free access and those offensive numbers using run pass options and run run options. And as I said before, we can simply be innovative by just providing speed and space because that wins over scheme. How we'll do this is we'll use our triangle principles, 
where we can put the defense in conflict and set ourselves up for success. Principles here, number one always is numbers then, as we've talked before. Again, safeties will tell all and then we'll go down to those linebackers. Number two then, we wanna be an outside in kind of attack. So we wanna look and see if we have access to the outside to throw, but also if we have what I call a best edge for our run scheme. Third then, as we mentioned, we're typically gonna put our A receiver and our Z, our slot two receivers to the field side and we, that way we can get speed and space right away. Our formula for success then is to number one, still run the ball against any defense, obviously not create any turnovers. And then this gives us an opportunity with spread to make big plays through run or pass. Last then, how can we make this transformation happen? By using spread sets as your starting point or foundation, you can transform your approach and thinking offensively without giving up your current system. So just flip it to simplify and we can be innovative with tradition. You can do both. Number one, no huddle spread is fun, new and exciting for both the players and your staff. Use it as a way to rejuvenate your program and yourself. Number two, just flip your thinking to spread as your starter foundation and then use your current system as offensive packages. Third then, we wanna incorporate new communication and practice methods to help in the development of your players. How are you gonna do this? It's imperative you teach a quarterback read system, allowing them to use run pass options and run run options. We have got to empower that quarterback to be part of the decision making for us to move forward and be innovative. I hope this gives you a great idea how you can transform your system, but keep things very effortless in everything you do. Thanks.